the No Fate channel, checking in. Today, I'm going to be talking about SA Fishing arm sleeves, um, their use, their cost, my experience, the sun protection, how they fit, and my overall expectations going forward with whether I would recommend them or not. And I'm going to give my final thoughts after two months of experience with SA Fishing neck gaiters, using them as facial masks and my experience with the company with respect to their shipping and all their other practices. Uh, if this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. On this series, on every episode, I review something that has come into my life to help you decide if it might benefit you, if it might improve your quality of life, and most importantly, if it's actually worth that hard earned money. Today from safishing.com, I have their arm sleeves. Um, and if you're not familiar with me, if you haven't been subscribed to this channel for a while, I am super pale. I am afraid of the sun. Um, so when I saw these online, I thought these would be good for the summertime, especially going out and playing in the yard with my children. And even though we do tend to use sunscreen very, very often, as you can imagine, it can be inconvenient, especially when you're only going to go out for like 10 or 15 minutes at a time. But I'm so fair that I will burn 15 minutes in the sun, believe it or not. So I figured, hey, let's let's put these on, check them out, see if they're any good. So let's go over the cost. Um, they range. SAFishing.com has so many different online promotional codes. I paid $5 a piece, but I also got used an extra code SA25 at checkout to get a few extra neck gaiters, even though I didn't need them, they were free. So I did pay $5 a piece with shipping. I think it was four for 20 when it was all said and done. Um, and that's four individuals, not four pairs, four individuals. Um, that's what I paid. In terms of shipping, safishing.com in the past has had horrible shipping. I got these in approximately two weeks, I think because these are not necessarily as um, as warranted as the, the facial coverings, the neck gaiters that people are using as facial coverings, that the shipping is a lot better. So I got these in two weeks and I was, I was pleasantly surprised that I got them in two weeks. Why would you want these SA Fishing arm sleeves? Well, the biggest thing that I'm using them for, and probably you as well, is sun protection. They claim SPF 30. I will say from use that I don't necessarily think you get SPF 30 sun protection, okay? I think because of the way that they stretch and because of the type of material, um, as you can probably see my hand through them, hopefully with the lights on, um, I have a feeling that once you actually put them on your arm, you're probably looking at more SPF 15 or SPF 20, which for many of you is going to be perfect. And for me, on short periods of time, that's actually exactly what I need. I would say if you're going to be wearing these all day in the hot, hot sun and you do have pale skin, you're still probably going to want to use sunscreen because this is, again, only going to be giving you SPF maybe 15 or 20. The good thing with respect to these versus sunscreen, if you are going to be out and about for the long day, they're on permanently. You don't have to reapply these because they are on. As far as putting them on and taking them off, they go on and off very quickly, very easily. Um, I will say that's one of the nice convenient things about them. As far as sizing, I have like, I don't know, like 14 or 15 inch arms up here at the bicep. And that's not really uh, patting myself on the back, but just to give you an idea, because I know there's some big dudes out there that have much bigger arms than me. Um, I'm 6'1 for reference, and they do come all the way up my arm, right? So they do fit. They're pretty snug. They come all the way up my arm. Overuse, they are going to kind of slide back down over the back of your tricep, um, but they do come up high enough to be kind of underneath the actual t-shirt uh, arm sleeve. So that is a nice benefit. As far as bug protection, I mean, if you get some serious mosquitoes, they're going to go right through this like a hot knife through butter. But overall, it does add a little bit of bug protection from bugs crawling on you and stuff like that. Um, not much, but hey, every bit counts when you're out and about. Uh, in terms of convenience, I, I, I think it's easy because you put them on, you, throw, you take them off very, very quickly as far as actual looks, right? So you, they've got like 20 or 30 different styles. I actually like the, the, the light ones. And I like the fact that this one, because if you're looking to be highly visible, this is one that people are not going to miss. For, for those of you out with respect to construction, if you're on the road, uh, if you're just doing a job where you're outside and you don't want to get clipped by a car, I would definitely do something that's highly visible, something like this. Uh, they have got some funny designs as well. One of the ways that I use them that I know many of you aren't going to use them, believe it or not, is I use them when I'm driving in my car. I have such fair skin that when I do long rides, the left arm of mine, because it's against the window, actually gets tan quicker than the, the right arm. Go figure. But I will actually, when I'm in the car, if I have a long drive, I'll put one of these on my left side just to make sure that I'm not inadvertently getting a crazy tan on my arm when I don't want to. 
overall, I have been happy with these uh, with respect to what I paid and with respect to getting um, a couple extra of these neck gaiters. I think that, that you're going to be happy with what you paid with respect to your use. If you're a guy that's or a girl that's working out in the sun for a long period of time and you don't even have a chance to reapply sunscreen, this is nice. Now, do they add an extra layer of warmth? A little bit. Okay, so if you have these on and you're outside, you're going to notice your arms going to be a little bit more, a little bit warmer. It does take a little bit getting used to. And I think once you kind of get acclimated with the outside temperature and your body sweats a little bit, you're not going to notice it. But the first couple, like 10, 15 minutes when you're outside with these, you're going to think you're warmer, obviously, with them on versus when they're off. Um, now, let's talk about whether you should wear, get these or just get a long sleeve shirt. Now, here's the thing. I would say the long sleeve shirt, such as this, is going to offer you probably the same amount of protection if you've got one that's that's you know relatively nice as these arm sleeves. The the pros and cons with respect to wearing a long sleeve shirt versus the arm sleeves is that you can get a long sleeve shirt that has a little bit it's a little bit looser. So you're going to get a bit more airflow on your arms if it's a little bit looser. However, the converse side of that is if it's a little bit looser, it can be harder to actually get stuff done if if, you know, if you're dealing with the looseness of the shirt. If you're actually trying to use your hands, do some yard work, do some uh, construction work, any type of that stuff, that looseness can be a headache and might even be potentially a hazard. Um, also, with respect to the long sleeve shirt, you can't take it off because you'd be shirtless, right? At least with these, you can take them off. Um, you can give your arms a breather or if you're going inside for lunch, uh, stuff like that. Uh, overall, I think they have their uses. I know for some people it's going to be a nuisance or it's going to be an eyesore because you're going to have something weird on your arm. You're going to stand out. And for some people, that's going to be exactly what they want. They want to be seen if they're outside working on the side of the street. They don't want some, some, some kid with, that's just left their driveway that's on their phone already, clips them, and next thing you know, they're in a wheelchair. So overall, I like them. I think the value is good. I think the use cases are there for many of you. And let's get into my final thoughts on the SA Fishing Neck Gators. This is the third video that I've covered SA Fishing Neck Gators. Initially, I was a little upset because of their shipping time. I did reorder from them to see how they would handle when I reordered a second time. And the shipping time was a lot less. So I do think that they're fixing their shipping times. I will say if you do order from them with regards to Neck Gators, expect a two and a, two and a half to three week delivery time. They're not, I mean, they, they were never good with respect to delivery. Before the Rona, they're all backed up now, but they are improving. And you do get your stuff eventually. You just have to know in advance that it's going to be a problem when you put that order in. Uh, overall, with the Neck Gators, again, uh, I think I've stated, I, I think they're good stuff for the price tag. They're not going to last a lifetime. They are going to fray at the, at the sides and the colors are going to fade. So again, try to get some, um, some more basic colors that are going to stand out versus like the Joker face. Overall, I've been happy at the end of the day. They, they made everything right. It was a little bit headache with respect to their customer service, but in the long and short of it, they made everything right. And even though their shipping is slowed, if you know that going in, if you know that going with eyes wide open, it's uh, not gonna be as much of a hassle as it was for me because my expectations were a little uh, above where they probably should be. If you came this far in the video and have any questions regarding the SA Fishing arm sleeves, drop them in the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions in general regarding the neck gaiters, drop them in the comments below. If you use amazon.com, use that to, uh, use the description, click on the Amazon affiliate link. It does help out the channel. Uh, if you came this far in the video, do me a favor, give this video a like, hit that subscribe button. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.